um, which is organised by the Irish Angus Producer Group and their sponsors, ABP and KPAC. So um, the schools, it's a really brilliant schools competition. I know there's great excitement about it all around the Ploughing Championship this year. And uh, Cleana, you're actually a former winner of the competition. Yep. Can you just tell me a little bit about what, what it's actually about? What exactly is this competition? Yeah, so the competition is open to fourth year students in secondary school. And basically you have to go through a number of stages a number of stages um, to get through. So there's five schools from all over Ireland picked and you're given f five Angus calves at six months of age. So these groups here received their calves yesterday and they have to take them home for 14 months uh, roughly and finish them. So they're all given their own team and they have to go through their team and promote the uh, certified Irish Angus beef. Great, thanks very much Cleena. And so we have Hannah from Ashburn Community School, who received her calves yesterday, Jane from Laurel Hill School in Limerick City, and Kieran there from Skullmura in Strokestown. So guys, you all received the calves yesterday. Um, what, did it, what does it mean to you to get this far and to be named as a finalist in the competition? Oh, it, it means the world to us. Like Our school had never entered a competition like this before, you know, Ag Science, because Ashburn's quite an urban area, ag science probably wouldn't have been the most popular subject in the school. But since we've entered the competition, you wouldn't believe the amount of publicity that both ag science and the certified Irish Angus producer group have got from us just taking part in this competition. It just means the world to us. That's brilliant. And Jane, how did you feel when you saw the calves yesterday? And you're also from an from an urban background, is that right, Jane? Yeah. Um, we were so shocked to be one of the finalists as none of us are from farming backgrounds. So when we saw the calves, it all became so real. And when the girls were visiting from our school, they were just so inspired. And the numbers are increasing every year in ag, ag science in our school. So we're really delighted. Brilliant. And Kieran, um, why did your group, why did your school get involved in this competition? Yeah, well, we got involved in this competition because we seen it last year, the ploughing. Uh, so we went to our teacher in the school and uh, we asked her could we get involved in the competition and she, she was more than delighted to jump on board. So at the start then we had to make it a three minute video like all the other schools here and uh, we were successful in that. After that stage we, uh, we had an interview in Mullingar, I, I don't know where the rest of them had the interview in, but ours was in Mullingar and there was four, uh, 50 schools at that stage. And anyways, that was whittled down once again to 34 schools when we got through to Crow Park. And uh, then the five schools are here today uh, up at the Irish Angus tent. Brilliant. So um, it's a huge achievement for you all. Congratulations on, on getting this far. Um, Cleana, what exactly, uh, what advice would you give to, um, to, the, to the students here on how to, how to win this competition? Because <laughs> they're all competing with each other. Yeah, well, I suppose you are all competing against each other. But the one thing that we decided was to work as a team because you're going to need it in the future when you're working in a company or whatever it is, you're going to need to work as a team. But also just enjoy yourselves. We, we were against other groups just like ER, but they're still our best friends now. We're in college with most of them. So just go out there and enjoy it. It's, it's great. You've your own calves now to go home and mine, so just have a great time at it. And Cleana, you actually went on to study food and marketing and entrepreneurship in UCC. Yeah. Did this competition have any impact on that decision? Was it a bit of a pivotal moment for you in what area to pursue with your career? Yeah, well, I suppose I always wanted either primary school teaching or nursing. And in fourth year, they always encourage you to try different things. And it's so important because if I hadn't entered that competition, I wouldn't be studying food marketing. And if I had to go back, I wouldn't be doing nursing or primary school teaching. So it's great. And the contacts we've made, I spent my summer working with ABP. Um, and the only reason I was with them for the summer was through this competition. So the contacts and the friends that we've made is wonderful. So Brilliant. it's all ahead of you. So um, guys, I know you're all really excited. Um, mm -hmm. Are you going to go back down to the calves now? And where are they going to, where are they going to live now for the next year? Um, so in our situation, um, both uh, myself and the male in my group, David Corey, are from farming backgrounds, and two of the girls aren't from farming backgrounds. So David's family have kindly offered to take the calves off our hands for the next um, 16 months or so. So, but 
we all, all live like quite close to each other, so we'll be able to go up and give them a hand. And we're hoping to bring our ag science class up to see our calves and that and show them all the work we put in. It really paid off and try and get some transition years from this year to get involved in the competition. Super. And what about you, Jane? Who's going to look after the calves? How are you going to monitor the situation? Um, none of us are farmers and we've no land. So um, they're being kept in Palace Kenry Ag College. Um, so we want to get as much hands-on experience as possible because we don't have any experience with farming yet. So we want to learn as much as we can. And this competition has been great to get us interested in ag science and we hope to pursue careers in the future. Brilliant. And Kieran, what about yourselves? Who's going to look after your herd? Yeah, well, all three of us would come from farming backgrounds. Me, myself, um, I'd be a dry stock farmer, part-time dry stock farmers, while the other two lads would be sucklers. So we decided it'd probably be best if they came to my farm, seeing as we're uh, well used to finishing off cattle. Uh, one thing for our t all uh, five t the schools got uh, teams, and our teams is uh, planning and production. And as part of the planning and production, we're going to test each one of our uh, silage and whoever has the uh, highest DMD percentage we're going to use that silage um, the higher the DMD the less concentrate you need and therefore the more profit you have brilliant well best of luck to all of you I know you're going to have a really exciting year year and a half ahead of you and uh, maybe you'll come back next year and tell us all how you got on uh, that's great thanks very much and we'll be back with more